These are screenshots of me getting paid my first $1,000 online back in 2016. In this video, I'm going to explain how I made my first $1,000 online because that really is the hardest part. I'll explain where my head was at at that time and I'll explain and give you some advice if you're trying to make your first $1,000 online, your first $500 or even your first $100 online. I want to give you some motivation and explain kind of like how I did it in 2016. Since this payment, I've been a full-time internet marketer, YouTuber, just kind of like online guy. I made a full-time living from my computer and it's allowed me to travel the world and live in countries that I never thought that I would even visit before. So I'll explain what I did, the method, where my head was at, and then at the end of the video, I'll give you some important advice, which you can choose whether you take or not. So step one for me before I even made any money, was to find out what's actually possible here and how much money can we actually make. I was trying to figure out what the ceiling is and trying to see are people actually making money online? If so, how much money are they making and what methods are they using to make this money? So what I did is I went to the place that all of the internet marketers and the people who were making money online were hanging out. And that's pretty important. You need to go ahead and hang around where all of these people are making money. So I went to forums back in the day like Warrior Forum, Black Hat World, and Hack Forums, and these were all forums where people were actually making money and then talking about the methods they were using. These are free forums that anyone can join, and it had loads of people who also had the same goal, which was making money online. So if you're trying to make money online, what I recommend you do is put yourself around people who are already making money online whether that's virtually or even in person, when you're around those people, just take a step back and analyze what those people are talking about. Why are they mentioning this? Why is this important? And what does this actually mean? So anyway, fast forward to these forums. On a forum called Black Hat World, I discovered that there was something called CPA marketing. Now CPA marketing stands for cost per action marketing. And it's essentially a marketing method where Companies will pay you upfront when you get signups to their website. So for example, companies which are online based, they want a user base to actually use their service. So they will pay internet marketers to get people to sign up to their website. The best CPA marketing network and the network that I made all of my money with is Max Bounty. So here's what Max Bounty looks like. Max Bounty is one of the most popular CPA networks out there and they will pay you to promote different websites. So here we've got an offer and you will be paid here. Let's have a look, $2.50 every time you can get someone to sign up for this iPhone 13 giveaway. So literally all you would do is you will get people to go to this website and then when they go ahead and sign up and enter in their email, you would earn $2.50. And this is how I made my first $1,000 online. Now I was promoting a specific category of CPA offers and that category was survey offers. So if I go to browse here or in fact search and I then go to categories and I just go ahead and go to the survey category and then click apply, you can see there are a lot of different survey websites which will pay you to send people to them. So here are the different survey websites. These are the different companies. And here is how much they'll pay you to get people to sign up. Now I'll just take this one as an example, I Survey World. They will pay you for every one page submit and they'll pay you $1.50. So all you have to do is get someone to sign up to I Survey World by filling in this form here and you will earn $1.50. Now the fact that I could promote an offer which is free and all I had to do was to get someone to sign up to this page here was a game changer for me because I knew that if I get enough people to click on it, then eventually people are just going to convert. And it's literally a no brainer that I'm gonna make money if I can get enough people here to click on this offer. Another thing that I had going for me as well, I'd actually used survey websites like this to make some money back in the day. I was using survey websites like this to earn just like gift cards now and again. I've actually got a post which came up on Facebook um, and it was 11 years ago I was using Swagbucks, which is a survey website. I was using it to actually earn some like Amazon gift cards on the side. 
like literally in 2011. So I was familiar with who would actually use these websites. People that use these survey websites to earn some extra money are either kids or teenagers without a job or parents who just want to earn some like extra money here and there online. So I was like, great, now I've got the target market. I can now go and target these people. Now this is the part where most people struggle because most people struggle to get traffic and they get confused and they overcomplicate it. All we need to ask yourself, where are these people hanging out on the internet? So the people that I went to target was kids. I know that there were a lot of kids and teenagers that don't have jobs that will be interested in using a survey website to make some extra money online. So what I did, I went to YouTube because I was familiar with watching YouTube and I knew that there was a lot of YouTube, uh, teenagers and kids on YouTube without any job who wanted to make some money. So I targeted kids on YouTube. So I hope you're all with me. I promoted a survey website, which when people would sign up to it, I would earn $1.50 and they could then use that survey website to make some extra money online by doing surveys. So what I did, I took my link to this website here and I promoted it through YouTube. And I've even got a video of mine, which is still on YouTube to this day. So here is that video. Now this video shows people how they can get a free gaming headset. And I explain in this video that they can use my survey to go ahead and do surveys and earn points, which they can then redeem for Amazon gift cards, which they can then use to get a gaming headset. Now in the description, I was linking to these survey websites. So you can see I've got sign up here. Now this would take people to the survey world page. And then when they signed up, I would then earn $1.50 like it says here. Now I did this over and over promoting different survey websites with different videos. So I made different videos on different categories, show people how they could get free Xbox Live, free PSN, a free like tablet, literally any product on Amazon. I created a video showing people how they could get it for free. And that's basically how I made my first $1,000 online. At my peak here with this method, I was making between $600 to $800 a month. And that was when I was in college and I was like 16 or 17. And that was all passive income because all of these videos were on YouTube. So I was happy with that. It paid for my college. It got me introduced into internet marketing. And this method here was how I got started. Now the main takeaways here, I'm not gonna drag this out even longer, but the main takeaways here are go and hang around people who are already making money online, internet marketers, YouTubers, just general make money online guys, e-commerce guys, hang around where they're hanging around. You also need to learn how to ask the right questions and you need to learn how to be able to Google stuff. So find one thing, which could be an entry point, which could be CPA marketing, and then go and Google stuff related to CPA marketing and you'll find more information. And then just choose something, run with it until you see results. If it works, then great, you've made money. If it doesn't work, then that's fine. You've now learned a bunch of stuff in that industry, which you can either take to a different industry, or you can go again and retry. That's been the story. Make sure you do subscribe for more tips and tricks on how you can make money online. Let me know if you wanna hear more of my journey. I'm actually going to live in Thailand in two months again. So I'm gonna document that whole journey on the channel. Please do leave a like, make sure you do subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.